For a long time, time was very localised. When it was 12 noon in one town, it could be 11.52 or 12.06 in the next town, because time was based on the angle of the sun, which is obviously different depending on where you are. When trains and long distance communications came along, people needed consistent time zones over larger distances to help them plan their journeys and communicate, so the world was split into 24 time zones. In 1998, the Swiss watch manufacturer Swatch attempted to come up with a new method of telling the time. They invented internet time, or beat time. Beat time is a decimal system, so it works by dividing the day into a thousand beats, equivalent to 1 minute 26.4 seconds each. This makes it easier to do maths with, because you don't have to start counting again every time you reach 60. They proposed a new meridian line at Swatch's headquarters in Beale, where the day would reset to zero beats at midnight every night. They suggested that, on the internet at least, we all use their new time system, no matter where on the planet we are, making it the same time everywhere. The difference being that 500 beats would be midday in Switzerland, but midnight in New Zealand. The main aim of the new time system was to make coordination across time zones easier, but 20 years later and the idea hasn't really caught on, at least partially because everyone is sort of used to the current method of telling the time, and a workaround to the time zone issue already existed, which was to use Greenwich Mean Time, or nowadays, Universal Coordinated Time, as a universal time standard across time zones.